Gore, UNCA Sports Information Director, recently brought Director of Athletics Janet Cohn to the Mountain Highlight Studio to discuss what is next for our Bulldogs. Hi, I'm Mike Gore, Associate Athletic Director of the UNC Ashley Athletics Department, and delighted to have our Athletics Director, uh, Janet Cohn. Janet, thank you so much for joining us today. Hi, Mike. I'm glad to be here. Janet, this is your fifth year as Athletics Director uh, here at UNC Asheville, and you've accomplished so much, the department's accomplished so much, but I know one of the things that's on the horizon uh, that you have to be so excited about is a North Carolina Center for Health and Wellness. Absolutely. People that are on our campus know the fence is up and the groundbreaking occurred back in April, and we're two years away from being in a new facility. What will that facility do? It's not just going to be a basketball arena, is it? No, absolutely. And that's something we want everybody to understand. Um, the small part that athletics will have in there is only about 1% of that building. Right. Um, it really is the North Carolina Center for Health and Wellness. It'll house our health and wellness uh, promotion major, which is the fastest growing major right. on our campus. And then we'll have the opportunity to do a lot of community collaboration, um, focusing on childhood obesity, workplace wellness, and senior wellness. So it's got labs and a wellness cafe and a teaching kitchen and classrooms and um, a fitness area. So it really is a facility that will be used by everyone on, on our campus. Uh, last year at this time, mm -hmm. I, I, you were named one AAA Athletic mm -hmm. Director of the Year. And what a great thrill that was, not just for you, but, but for the whole athletic department. You know, it's nice to get that award, but I know who really deserves that award, and that's the people that work with us. And, you know, we have a wonderful staff, great coaches, wonderful student athletes, and they just happen to make me look good. Well, I very much deserved it. Well, thank and, you. And once again, congratulations. Now, we've won some championships since you've been here, which I know that, mm -hmm. which, which I know you've been happy about. And let's talk about them a little bit. Uh, your first championship, which is special to all of us, was our baseball team. Right. You, know, you know, Willie Stewart was your first hire you know, when you first got here. Uh, Matt Myers left to take a head, uh, or, to, or take an assistant coaching job at Auburn University, and you hired Willie as the interim coach for your had a tough first year there, you know, with, with only 11 wins. And then the next year, um, he, he gets in. He gets into the tournament as a six seed mm -hmm. and wins it down ten nothing to come back and win and then and then played very well at the Clemson Regional and I know that had, uh, I know that had to be a thrill to watch uh, watch that team oh. you know, over a year improve and win a championship. Oh, absolutely! And you know, for the folks out there listening, Willie Stewart is an alum. He right. played right. baseball here, and so it was sort of like a dream come true that he had worked his way up to become a head coach. And then when we were at the Big South Championship, and you know, I've been in athletics a long time and watched a lot of sporting events on TV, and I, had, I can't really say that I've seen a comeback like the comeback that we had from our baseball program to win that championship. But you know, the other part of that is the opportunity to take a team to the NCAAs, and we went over to Clemson, and you're standing there and the national anthem is playing and your team is on the field and you're looking out there and you know you got the flag and the Clemson Tiger Paw and our A is flying out there too and you know what a great moment for our university and brings a lot of national attention no to not only our athletics but our academics because you know one of the things we pride ourselves on is that we are champions in athletics but leaders in life and we truly have student athletes. Uh, there's no question about that, and, 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 and before we get back to the champions, one of the things that you started was a 3.0 uh, uh, athletic director's uh, honor roll, and I know that's been a big hit. Well, it really has, and one of the things we wanted to do, we talk a lot about student athletes and encouraging our student athletes to go to class, make good grades, and do all those things, and we decided what we do, it was time to recognize those no that question. were doing that. And through the years, that club has grown steadily, and we added a little financial incentive because all our student athletes are not on full That's scholarship. Right. So those student athletes that make the 3.0 club that aren't on full scholarship also get a little extra scholarship money. And, you know, that, that comes in handy because many of our student athletes are some of the best students on our campus, and then they practice 20 hours a week right. and some of them have part-time jobs so anytime that you can help them financially with some scholarship money that's that's a win-win. And speaking of great student athletes our women's soccer team later that year 2006 in the in the fall uh, I won the conference championship mm -hmm. and had it had to play a great Carolina team but th that was so exciting for Michelle Cornish who's really had a consistent mm -hmm. program had come so close to two previous seasons and then and then with not one of her better teams though but this time was able to uh, was able to go down to Myrtle Beach and end up winning three great games and win the tournament. And I, I know you're happy for Michelle. Oh, absolutely! And once again, that was one of those exciting tournament championships because we won that in the shootout mm -hmm. and was able to go to play Carolina. And we got to say, who shows up but our chancellor and once former again, former soccer player, former soccer player, and you know, graduate of um, Carolina. They're supporting her Bulldogs and. 
you know, one of the things we love about our university, though, is that community support, faculty, staff, the chancellor, community people who are really getting involved with the Bulldogs. No question, and we and we followed it up. I know something that you were mm -hmm. incredibly proud of was our women's basketball team. I helped bring the tournament to Ash with a lot of hard work from people in the mm -hmm. community. We hosted it in 2007, 2008, and the first year we hosted, uh, Betsy Blows, who's done a great job rebuilding this mm -hmm. program, uh, I went to championship. So it was a lot of hard work going into you know uh, bringing that tournament here. And of course, if you ever hosted a tournament, it takes a lot of work and then win a championship. Uh, that was a uh, that was a glorious week, wasn't it? Right, and you know one of the things I love about Betsy Blows is she she gives everyone credit credit and whether it was her team or staff or the team behind the team that helped put on that tournament, she realized it took a lot of people to win that championship. And one of my um, memories from that championship is her mom standing there crying on the end of the bench, you know, watching Betsy and her team win a championship. So, you know, those are those kind of touching moments where it's so much more than just winning a game. 